So let's start with the first topic of the day, uh, which is uh, how to calculate the sum of a table column. So whenever I re read a word in our requirement also like whenever we see like we need to do some calculation or very straightforward calculation. So the first thing we should always consider is to use a uh, form Kelsey. Obviously this is a very simple example where we can also uh, calculate our total from the backend in our application program and then we can simply bind it to the form to display so that we don't want to calculate that into form level. But in some scenarios where uh, we don't have that flexibility. I mean, last class also we discussed about the new Adobe forms in S4 HANA where uh, we don't have, if we are working on any standard Adobe form provided by SAP in a gateway based form, so, and we don't have any flexibility to add or calculate anything in the backend, then we should know like what are the options available in the form level. So this is one of the options and we will see how it is possible. So whenever we want to show any total amount in the form after uh, all the rows we can display then what we have to do we have to create a footer row of the table till now we in the tables we have seen like we can create a board a data rows we can create header rows but also in table we can create a footer row where we can show the foot, uh, final footer information so one of the important information is to show the total amount and uh, for that if footer is not already created we can create one footer line and then whatever the amount we want to show as a total amount, we have to declare it as a numeric field so that the calculation can be reflected on that uh, particular field. And then there is a pre-delivered function called sum when we use the form Kelsey scripting language. So this, this is just an example. Uh, just after that, I will go into system and show you how we can do that. But this is one of the example like we have a lot of in uh, rows in, one this, in this table and after completion of the final item then we have created a footer row which shows the total amount and total quantity. So the 66 is the sum of all the quantities in this particular row and then this amount is the sum of the amount of all the rows which we can simply uh, calculate using this Java, uh, this form Kelsey script. So you can see like this is only one line of code like but I will show you in the system like how it is uh, it can be done. Okay. So this is one of the existing forms that I have already created. Uh, just to give you a short summary like what I have done in this table. Okay, with the last class experience like I saw whenever we were using the standard table. So we got a lot of fields, more than 100 of fields which we were not interested so we had to deactivate every time. So for to avoid that kind of uh, situation I just created a template uh, table type in the dictionary which uh, whatever fields I'm interested to show in the table I just added those fields so now we don't need to worry about deactivate anything I will also quickly show you the form interface and the structure of this form and for today's class we will majorly use this structure only so it's better to understand now so what I did I just created a simple importing parameter as country uh, so that whenever I execute this form, I can pass a country and based on that country key, uh, system will just provide me all the billing documents that are generated for that particular country. And then in the global data definition, I just created a simple table. Uh, you can say this data declaration GT data simple and this is the table type that I already created containing those uh, columns or fields. And in the code initialization event, I just added this application logic based on uh, header data of billing do document and item data of the billing document. So that in the final, my final table that I want to show in the form, it will be filled with some data and that data would be influenced with the importing parameter of country. So based on whatever country key we will pass, uh, we will get the record in this table. So this we don't need to worry about this application logic, this is just for demo purpose. Uh, in your requirements or whenever you get some different requirements, you can also write your own code either in code initialization or in your application program. Okay. So this is the simple form interface that I created and then in the context I simply drag and drop this, tip, uh, this field, IV land one and then the global data. 
So I would use this GT simple. What is the difference between these two tables? Because this table I use with using control labels, where I grouped uh, this table with document number VBLN. The rest of the columns are already there. So it is just for uh, showing the data in different way. I just created that table. But for this, uh, for showing this sum function, I will just use this simple table where we have these columns. And based on the func sum function, we will see the sum of this net amount and the quantity. And then after creating this context by adding the global data internal table and the country information, uh, although with this part, first topic, we don't need the country information in the form. We only need this table. Okay. So what I did, same way as we did in our previous classes, where I just go, went to data view, I selected this table and dragged and drop into my uh, design view. Then uh, to also create this uh, table or overflow this table to multiple pages. I change the design view with uh, settings of uh, floor content. I, by default, it was position. I change to floor, and then I tick this checkbox. This is something we already know in the uh, tape last classes when we discuss about table in detail. So I just want to show you uh, in a recap way. Then I just adjusted these fields uh, in the proper alignment, whatever sizes and other stuff I need, and then the cosmetic things that I needed to make some border and the font in this way, and then I created a footer row here. This was the footer row that I added here, and then uh, for below the quantity and then the net amount. I can go to this script editor, and this is the script that I have written at this level. So what uh, I can also tell you the uh, meaning of that, or maybe just a second. I will just delete this and rewrite this script again. Okay. Form was in display mode, so I just need to make it in editable mode. So till the time, uh, like the table has to be created. That part is uh, already, most of you are aware, like how to create a table in the forms. So I will not cover that thing into much detail. Okay. So what I would do, I might, I had done is, uh, I selected this field, change it into the numeric field. Okay, I change it, it from the type as numeric, and after that I went into the calculate event of this um, field because I want to calculate the sum. That's why we have to go and select the calculate event. Don't forget to choose this right event. I mean, mostly, we, as I told you in last class, like initialize and calculate are the most uh, regular events. And mostly when you use the scripting, you would see the use of initialize event most in most of the cases. But for the cases where you have to calculate something based on the uh, existing data of the form, then you have to choose a calculate event. and then. In form KLC, just like in JavaScript, we have a self-reference indicator as this. In form KLC, we have ampersand. So as soon as I selected ampersand, it, it would indicate this field, uh, which I selected right now. And now what I want, I want to set its raw value. And then I want to select the sum function. So how I can select the function? So you can see there is a, a feature here called function. If you select it, based on the language that uh, we have selected, it will give us the list of all uh, available functions. And also, it depends on the uh, version of your lifecycle designer. So as uh, as late as your lifecycle, more functions you will uh, see in this uh, box. So and we also add a lot of updates and a lot of new functions time to time. So it's also important whenever you want to use some function and if it is not available, it's time to just update your lifecycle designer to the latest one. So right now, we are talking about some function which is a quite, I believe it would be available in all the uh, versions, so no problem for that. So now what this sum function is uh, meaning is like, what we can do, we can uh, either add uh, the indexes of the fields that we want to sum, but in this case, what we need, uh, we want to sum yeah, complete line. I mean, uh, we have this table, 
in table we have this loop and it is just like our normal a web statement where we want to sum of uh, calculate the sum of one of the field so we put a loop on the table and then we calculate the field and so derive the total or we sum it in a local variable in the same way what we did we have to do here with this sum function we will do automatically but we have to provide it the right data so the right data would be to provide it all the rows so how we can get all the rows like we have to go and see what is the name of our data body row right now our the body row is data so i added it at data it can be a case like you are using a table as a sub form as table and maybe you have renamed it with some other name so make sure like whatever your body row of your table you have to put that information here and then uh, you have to you have to uh, put in this way where you are telling like you are interested to make sum of all the uh, records and then as soon as you put a dot version and then you will see the list of columns so if i want to sum a quantity here in this particular case so it will also be suggested and then that's it this will calculate the complete sum of uh, this quantity column the same way what i did here in the net amount column where i'm just uh, the same way i'm using this work area for all records and just adding the amount field and in this way it will take care of calculating the sum of this field and returning the sum into my target field so this was the uh, sum form sum function that we can use we can also check the output okay so with the output what we are expecting like uh, right now we have to add and country key so since i'm using the standard table and standard data so there are very limited data for country india and country us so uh, for your testing also whenever you want to make use of the existing code that i have created if you want to go with the same billing document uh, tables then and if you want to have your records more more than two pages you want to overflow that then choose india that because it will have uh, more than 20 25 records which will be helpful to see the records in multiple pages but if you can also choose us if you want but other than that i don't think there will be any other uh, record in the system so now you can see like uh, we are getting these many records and then what this what this sum function did it simply calculate the sum of all the columns and display it into the footer row Similarly, we put the sum script into amount field, so it also calculates the sum of all the amount columns and display it into a footer row at the end. So this is a very, you can say, a basic but very useful function at the same time. You would need this uh, in your real-time requirements many times, so just make sure to use it in this way and then it will be helpful. Also, uh, since I created this as a numeric field and in this case what i can do i can also put a des, uh, amount pattern so that i can see the proper uh, decimal notations uh, for that so that is something we can also make use of the pattern and do and we know already in our previous classes like how to handle that thing so you can just play around with these settings